Hi all, King Joe here. Waiting in, yeah, waiting in line at Chiller. So once we get going, I'll we'll show you the rest of the stuff. Little ones with me. <laughs> but yep, she says it best. They've already, they already flipped us once. The people in front of us were bounced around like a ping pong ball four times already. <laughs> so I'll let you know when I get in. Hello, everybody. Now, you see this line that's right here that goes all the way out? That's just the line for Norman Reedus here. Crazy. There's Superman. Yeah. But that's the line for Norman Reedus. Be back in a second. Hi, everyone. The King here again. I am actually dead tired. My back is killing me. I already met Ben Furia, Furiyama, who is Ultraman. The guy from Godzilla, I forgot his name, but they say their, their things in Japanese, which was cool. Uh, I'm waiting for a Playboy Playmate to come. I already got Christy Hemi and Candace Michelle. I had a pass up on D.B. Sweeney. Got a couple other the autographs. Of, because of funds. So, I'm in the Sun's Anarchy room, which is nuts. Oh, and then are taking a picture of no. you. But, that was the, the playmates. I'm dying to find out what, how long I'm going to have to wait for the one, other one to show up. Okay, bye. Hi, everybody. King Joe here. Well, we're back home now. Right, Lex? Mm -hmm. And I'm shot. Uh, we actually left early because uh, the one Playboy model, uh, I waited for her for an hour. She never showed up. So we, I told said to Lou, we'll leave, but I'm just going to go over some of the stuff I picked up. Candace Michelle autograph Playboy. I don't know if you can see it, but there you go. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. Then I got Christy Hemi to sign her Playboy. That's good. Uh, the one that didn't show, her name was, uh, what is it, Monica Lay? This was, I think, the, the issue, this one. What's her name? Oh boy, I don't even know. This is I, I mean I waited, I waited, I waited. Uh yeah, Monica Lay. She never showed up, so but my little one it, it was sad because the well let me just show the posters first. I did get Deanna Brooks. She she was never on the cover of Playboy, but I got actually a Playboy poster signed from her. She started writing in a red, it said lots of and it's a heart. And this is Deanna Brooks. You can't really see the red, but you can see the black Sharpie. And she was amazed. Well, it was actually, believe it or not, it was cheaper for her to sign my po my Playboy poster than if I had a, for, instead if I wanted her to sign a Playboy book. So this will actually be hung up in, in the breezeway eventually when I get a... Lex, like, you don't have to go all the way back with that. No, because they hardly couldn't even see the poster. Oh, well... Because of it. Okay. So I had to like move it backwards. Well, you're gonna you're gonna have to move it forward when I do the next one. I like how you threw the, the other poster over there. The other poster. Now most of you guys know from my from my, the very first video I ever done going to Chiller. Yeah, the line went. I went during I went during the snowstorm, and the, one of the guys I went to see, I bought a movie. I got a movie poster for one of his movies, which I like a lot of the movies he was in. Eddie and the Cruisers. The Philadelphia Experiment, any cruisers too. Well, I always liked Streets of Fire, a Rock and Roll Fable, which he signed here, Best Wishes, Michael Perry, which is crazy because, I mean, there's a lot of good actors in this movie. And, you know, it's sad that I couldn't, you know, like I'll never get William Dafoe to probably sign this or Diane Lane or Rick Moranis or uh, Amy Madigan. But at least I got the main character, which was Michael Pre. He was a hell of a nice guy. Right, Lex? Lexi he actually... Flash. Well, no, that was Michael Michael Wesley Ship who was the Flash. He was a nice guy, too. But, you know, I got this poster. So now I got to get this... I got to get a frame for it. And a frame for the... Okay, hold on. But the first person we wanted to see was Kathy Rigby. 
And it was sad because I told Kathy Rigby, I said, I, only want to, I said, my one wants an autograph, but I said, I don't want to pay for it. So she said to me, right, she goes to my little one, I'll, you know, I'll get an autograph. Well, my little one gets this one. She signs it, Alexis, Belgium, Kathy Rigby, 68 to 70 Olympics, right? I like well, one. she signed that, and I wanted her, I wanted this picture of Kathy Rigby. Where the hell is it? It's right um, here. Oh. This picture of Kathy Rigby. Well, I paid the $25 for my picture, right? And I ended up having to pay $20 for Lexi's picture autograph. So I was like, great, that put me down one autograph already. Well, it was nice because Carrie Wurr, who was more famous for her MTV, and she was on Eight-Legged Freaks. Well, I decided, normally I don't get them personalized. Well, this one says, Alexis, you're beautiful, Carrie Wurr. So I'm like, okay, you know, <laughs> my little one's going to get my stuff anyway. So, Red Brown, who was in Captain America and also was in the, the movie Your. He knocked off money because I told, you know, I was complaining about, I was complaining about money because I actually had a list. Where the hell is it? It's right there. This list. It had 17 people on. Let me read them. And I didn't get everybody on my list. In fact, I got one person who wasn't on my list because they actually took charge cards and I wanted the one. But Red Brown knocked five bucks off and he signed my little one's picture. Alexis. God bless you always, Red Brown, Captain America. <laughs> so, Lori Petty from A League of Their Own. That's that's this. And it was sad because, like, uh, I also got pictures with a lot of the people. Like, I got pictures with, uh, well, my daughter Kathy got... Kathy Rigby. Yeah, yeah, she got Kathy Rigby. We got, we got a picture with Carrie Wurr. Uh, let me think. Kathy Rigby. Yeah, we got. Now you guys know I'm I'm a big well when I was growing up, at one Halloween I actually went an Ultraman and Ben Ben Fur Furia, who played Ultraman was there. And I cannot pronounce this other guy's name. Where's the booklet? Here I'll tell you who the other. No, this is the booklet. Because the other guy from the Godzilla movie was it on was not on my list to get, right? But. I couldn't pass uh, Hiroshi Kozumi, right? Who's the middle guy here and was in the uh, one of the Godzilla movies? Wait. He also, believe it or not, he was also in a movie with him. But I wanted Ultraman because when I was a kid, I loved Ultraman, and we we actually got a picture of us doing the. the but my the little one had a nice talk with the Mister Ship. He was a hell of a nice guy. I mean, he was tall. I was amazed at how tall he was. But, best wishes, John Wesley Ship, and then Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt. Uh, my buddy Lou is picking me up, though, from my list. Uh, D.B. Sweeney's autograph from Eight Men Out. Uh, like I said, I didn't get Monica Lay's Playboy. Walter Koenig wanted $40. I just didn't have the money to, you know. Even though I have a picture on my camera of my buddy Lou with him. Uh... I didn't get Chris Sarandon from Fright Night because the only picture he had of Jerry Dandridge, I mean, it was, it was horrible. It was him as a vampire, like, ah, and I'm like, no. So, he, according to my friend, he goes there all the time. Uh, like Sean Patrick Flannery, I did not see him, and I figured since he was in with the, 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 the you know, good old uh, Daryl from... People said that he wanted an arm and a leg, so I didn't bother. And I didn't get to see Don Wilson. And Jack O'Halloran, I didn't get to see him. If I had to do it all over again, I there's actually only three autographs. There was actually a couple Playboy models that weren't even on the thing that were there that I could have got their autographs. I could have got the books and got it. But there's always next chiller in the fall. Uh, I did end up spending $350, but it was sort of it was sort of like weird because... Hers costing me twenty dollars more, but she had a good time. Mm -hmm. And my buddy Pete, I am gonna have some pics. I didn't take a lot. I actually started a video. I mean, the place was a freaking madhouse. We waited, what, in line? We got there at four o'clock. I mean, we got there at five o'clock. The doors open. The doors didn't open till six. We waited in line for an hour. We actually didn't get in till almost six thirty. 
Yeah. Before by the time we got our ticket. And it seems like everywhere in Jersey, nobody wanted to take a freaking credit card. Okay, the batteries died. Uh, I was talking about Pete. I did take some pictures, but the place was a freaking madhouse. I mean, I uh, the video you're going to see, like, is us waiting in line. I took some pictures with my camera, but it was only, like, with us, with Ben, Furiyama, Ship, Pari. I mean, a lot of people, they wanted extra just for, for a photo with them. And I'm like... I love Carrie Word. Let me tell you something. If you guys get to meet her, she's a great person. Can uh, you meet her? I, if I, I'll tell you off the bat. Of all the people today who I met, if I had to put the top five, uh, Ship, Carrie Wurr, uh Kathy Rigby? Well, no, because Kathy Rigby char overcharged me 20 bucks. She, she thought, the way she made it sound, even Lou thought you were getting a free autograph, and then I had to pay for it. But, uh, I mean, almost all the Playboys, like, they, they try to push. Uh, the one guy that that was Christy Hemme's handler was like, well, originally he wanted to charge me $40. And I said to him, I said, dude, all, all the other ones are charging 35 bucks for the Playboys. So I gave the 40 bucks. But that's what it costs when you get your favorite star. Go, she's not my favorite star. I said, I have the book, so therefore I want her to sign them. I said, this way when I croak, my daughter can get more than, you know, then a, a few dollars for the freaking book plane. At least he'll have her autograph on it. But uh, it it was it was it was all together. Carrie Wur was really was really a nice person. Kathy Rigby was nice, but overcharged me. Ship was awesome. The two Japanese guys, Ultraman and uh, I can't even pronounce their name. I'm not going to try. Ben. The guy who played Ultraman, I really had a night. I, I tell you the truth, I hope for this, hopefully my, for my birthday in June, my wife gets me the Ultraman box set. Because when I was a kid, I used to watch Ultraman. I actually went to him as for at Halloween. I actually have a picture of me eventually. Hopefully I'll get one of those neat scanners. And I'll be able to, we'll be able to, as a family, put all of our photos in it. And I'll be able to show off some of the things. Because I actually have pictures of me with, with Mego toys, the whole Batcave and Batmobile. I wish I still had that stuff. Makes me sick. But Can I tell them my top five? Tell them your top five, Lex. You were there. You were good. I loved you. You were great. My first one is Kathy Rigby. Yes, yeah, figured. And who was the girl that the we like the the, the what? Carrie Word, the one that took the picture with you, the one that told you her, her daughter was the same age as you. Uh, yeah, that, that was that was that was Carrie Word. That was this and lady. The Flash. You love the Flash. Uh, yeah. A lot of the Playboy models liked her. There, there right. was uh, Deanna was... Brooks who signed the poster. I talked was... to her for a while, and believe it or not, Courtney Culkin, who was uh, the one I was, I bought a Playboy book that I wanted her to sign, was wasn't supposed to be there, but she was there, and I wish I had the book. She was nice as hell. She talked to my daughter, and I, you know, I was like, you know, it's sad because. Christy had me, they were, they were sort of standoffish. Uh, a lot of the other women that were there were really nice to her. Uh, my little one was scared of Lori Petty, though. Who's Lori Petty? The girl, the girl from uh, A League of Their Own, the one that had the big glasses. You know, she had the shawl. She had, Lori Petty, uh, I mean, I looked at her, I was like, wow, man, did you change? Uh, because she didn't have long hair. She had short, blonde, punk, punk style hair. And she had these big... Like, like military, like military goggles, like binocular glasses. She was really nice, but oh, and the Kathy Rigby and uh, the Ultraman guy. Yeah, you like and, the Ultraman uh, guy. In fact, the Ultraman guy gave me a card, so when I do put his thing in a in the frame, I gotta see where that card is. And because that uh, card will get yeah. Captain America. Yes, you like Red Brown. Yes. And the streets of Pine it's, it's his business card, which I'm actually going to hey, put. That's right here. I have this, it's right here. Okay. It's his business card. He was a nice guy. I, if I ever, this, I always say, so if I ever hit the lottery and I'm going to have a show, I would definitely have him at my show because uh, I would actually do a Godzilla slash, you know, 
Oh, J Japan, Japan a nation attack type deal. Yes, I would have the guy oh, from Ultraman. Man. I would have like all like J Johnny Sockers flying, you know, giant robot. I'd have all those guys. Put because... Kathy Rigby in it. Oh yeah, you and Kathy Rigby. Yeah, my my little one was Kathy Rigby. Because Kathy Rigby was the first female who won an o Olympic medal for the United States. And Please. my little one was happy today. Of course, too, she also bought two bracelets there. She cost me $20, which that was one autograph I was not allowed to get because she had to have another Kathy Rigby. Which is sad because one autograph would have probably gave me Jack O'Halloran. And it would have been nice because I have to get, uh, let's see, I have, to, I have to buy one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, seven, eight by ten holders, so I can put these up. Cause, well, the sad thing is, I don't know if I'm gonna put. See, Lori Petty's one of these ones that can either be. I don't know if I'm putting the Lori Petty one since this is a league of their own that deals with baseball. If that's gonna go in the downstairs, coming downstairs with all the sports stuff, or is it gonna go in my breezeway with all the movie stuff? Same thing when my buddy Louie with, gets me DB Swiss with Swiss Lee stuff. with, uh, with uh, his eight men out picture. Because my, my buddy Louie's going to get me that tomorrow. Since I didn't have enough money, he said he'll pick it up when he comes down in a couple months for a visit. I'll give him the money and he'll you know, he'll pick it up for me. Because DB Sweeney don't do a lot of shows, so at least not you know, back here. So Because he told me that Chris, that Chris Sarandon, who does Fright Night and uh, The Princess Bride, he's been a chiller once before, so I'm going to probably get... One of his autographs eventually, but hopefully he'll have a different Jerry Dandridge one, and I can actually have it. And as you know, the Playboy models they have a circuit. It seems like I'll eventually. It's funny because I said to Lou, I said I probably have over ten Playboys autographed already. But I probably have more closer to fifteen, but it, it's just nuts because they're actually more expensive than a lot of stars because they want thirty-five bucks, and a lot of the stars, I mean. 20 bucks, 25 dollars, 30 bucks at the max. Except uh, Walter Koenig was 40. Uh, George Lopez? George Lopez, yeah, I wish George Lopez was there. I would have loved to have met George Lopez. I could have had Field Day talking to doing, doing, doing mother in law stories with him. Could have, you could have told him how Nana went down on the scooter and broke her foot, or how she almost set the woods on fire, <laughs> or how just the other day my mother in law was in a car accident. And uh, never mind. I don't even want to get involved in that one because it's it's it's. Like, that was kind of stupid. Yeah, it was kind of stupid. She but broke shush, her Yeah, hand. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but you know, shit, stuff happens, and I mean, the, the people were actually complaining a lot of Chiller tonight about the Daryl Reedus's line was like nuts, nuts. I actually have you'll see footage of it in my video. My buddy Lou met Amberlynn tonight, the porn star, and. Mm -hmm. Was not thrilled with her, so I'm like, that's good. But it's funny because I sit here and I look at it through this. Uh, I like Kathy Rippy. She's my favorite tonight. Katie Seagal says Saturday and Sunday only. Well, I guess she backed out altogether, so. Uh, I would have liked to met Jack L. Hallen. That, that That's like the only I other one I would have. I wanted to see the guy that played uh, uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. He did see. He wanted thirty bucks to. Well, there was two of them. There was Ken Page, and there was. Uh, they, they wanted thirty bucks a signature. And no, the I'm one like, that the one that played the voice of Jack Skellington. Yeah, well, he'll be around again. Yes. But th that's it, Pete. I'll have pictures of the stuff. I'll post them. I'll post them on my Facebook. Post them. Post them. But yeah, them. we left early. My back was killing me. In fact, my back is still bothering me. I'm. Me and her are gonna go upstairs. In a minute, we're going to have something to eat and drink. I'm going to take a lot of pain medication, and I'm going to go to bed. That's what I was going to do. Because tomorrow, my little one, we have Your to leave. soccer game. Yes, we, first, have to leave it, we have to leave it. My first soccer game, people. Well, actually, you don't have to get that close to the camera. I don't care. Uh, yeah, she's got a soccer game, which we have to leave at 11. I she's got to be there quarter to 12. Team. I'm actually praying that it rains so it gets canceled. Why? Because my back is killing me. You think I'm going to sleep good tonight? No. Yeah, no. And the sad thing is, my little one carried my pack for me, which is funny because this pack doesn't weigh that much like it used to. You know, I brought a couple giant size comics because usually there was a guy there that that has the books. Well, 
which you know, I bring them to see the guy in the trade to see if I can get two treasuries for one. I, I brought the four treasuries I have doubles of. And the guy last time I went there had a ton of a ton of doubles of the Christmas ones. I mean, like, he had like five or six of the Christmas and he didn't really have a lot of the superhero ones. So I figured maybe if he's got that many of the Christmas ones, he'll do a two-for-one trade. And I can Because I don't have any of the Christmas ones. Well, I had the superhero Christmas one, but I'm talking about the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ones. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And he had them for ten bucks. And I figured, well, even if he doesn't do the trade, maybe I'd buy them. If he took a credit card, I'd buy the like two or three of them that he had for ten dollars, as long as they were different issues. Well, of course he wasn't there, and I mean, you get no deals at these shows. I saw a guy. I mean, everybody wanted bulk price. I'm like, eh, I do better on eBay. There's been like two thousand people there. I even told the one guy that I said I do better on eBay. I mean, uh, my little one bought two two charm bracelets off of a lady. No, can I? Can I? Can I show? Go get them. Yeah, she was very happy, guys. And I'm happy she's happy. In fact, I can... My chiller wristband is officially off. And now I'll just fold it over, and I'll stick it in the book with it, and then I'll put it in a comic book bag and board. Yes, show them your... They're five dollars. She got two of them. She saved I her money. I got a butterfly one. That's red with roses on it. And like this is almost like a charm bracelet, but it's different. It has like little eyes on it, different kinds, and it has like stars on it with black beads. And and this one, this one's my this. The purple one's my favorite, and they have different designs, like uh, on their eyes. Yeah, it was packed, and it's going to be worse tomorrow, they said. So, it was actually better that I went on a Friday, even though it's not as open as long. But they said that, I mean, this was the biggest Friday turnout they ever had. And I'm like, it was nuts. So the people... Yeah, I mean... All the way to New Jersey. Hey, right, so now the fall chiller is going to be in October, and that's usually that usually is actually more more. In fact, they, my buddy Lou who went uh, last October one day said the fire marshal got involved. So I'm like, okay. What's a fire marshal? Guys who tells you if it's safe or not. But that's it for now. King Joe and Alexis will be out, and you know. So the guys will get, but I, I only have a couple of packages come, and I am taking it easy for a while after I get them because there's stuff I gotta get done around the house, and that's how it's gotta be. Get my four. I spent way too much money in the last couple of weeks, which all Even you guys me. know, comics ain't cheap. But let me tell you something: if you if you're me, I buy comic books the right way. I, you know those lots I got. If you're gonna buy stuff, you're better off buying lots and runs. Right, little one. Oh yeah. <laughs> But you want to hit the uh, hit the stop button, King hey, Joe and Alexis out. Thank bye you. Bye bye.